just going to do a little thing on half stops. You can see all four of these knives in front of you have half stops. There's a very traditional Sheffield made um, uh, Taylor's Eyewitness Barlow, a GE made, very modern, traditional, you know, titanium carbon fiber, modern steel, etc. A, a Tidiot GC knife and a quiet carry which couldn't come more modern, all titanium and it's actually D2 tool steel, but um, all three, all of these and many other knives have half stops. And I am, um, but I'm not a big, particularly a big fan of half stops and I'll tell you why. It's supposed to be a safety feature and the safety feature is because when your knife comes to, when you're cutting things, apparently there is a danger that this knife is going to fold on you because it doesn't have a lock. And the truth is, it has a really stiff spring. And I've never had one fold on me, but but what they do do is, the idea is that if it, if it does fold on you, the half stop stops it firing into your finger. What I actually believe happens really is that the half stop, in fact, does fire the blade into your finger with a degree of force that is actually quite unpleasant. Um, this one here is a particularly vicious example. The GE made knife is a very sharp blade, a relatively short Picasso with a small kick. And if I could get it to fold at all, which is quite difficult. In fact, I'm not going to do this on my hand because I don't like the sight of blood. But this fires into your finger with a high degree of force takes it just past the 90 degree mark and puts that bottom part of the blade right in line with catching your finger and it does it hard so that it digs in and takes a chunk out of your finger. And the same could be said of the GEC. It does something sort of similar. It's not quite so bad but it's pretty close. Doesn't have quite a strong spring. That, that really fires it in with some authority. And then the quiet carry is the same. So I can't get it to fold, but there we are. There we are. It's folding. So quiet carry does the same. And it's, again, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit gentler. So what am I saying here? I'm going to put those out the way for this now. And then we'll look at three other knives. Now, one is a very traditional knife. This is a case Stockman. This is a proper working man's Stockman CV steel. Main blade has no half stop. So if it closes, there's nothing firing it into your finger with the force of a strong back spring. It just isn't. There's nothing. It just closes when you're ready under and you have to push it so the only amount the only pressure that's going to push that into your hand is the amount of pressure that you put on it and if you don't like cutting yourself i suggest you don't put too much pressure on it onto your hand but it certainly doesn't fire at you that's a good example of how i think it should work now here's two bad examples of how it shouldn't work one is this kaiser zip slip that Paddy lent me. There's a very light spring. Almost there. So, if you're not using the finger trial, and I would strongly suggest with this knife that you do, because I don't believe knives fold, pocket, um, slip not joint knives fold on you, but if one is ever going to, it would be this one, because it's almost light enough to be a, uh, a friction folder. But when this one does go, the spring catches it and fires the blade into your hand. And if you're not careful, if you catch that piece there, it is an extremely sharp knife. Just testimony to that. I cut myself when I was making one of these videos just now. Um, thankfully, it does have a bit of a kick. So that's one I particularly don't like. I think that's a particularly bad example of a slip joint, of a half stop. And then here is an extremely good example of a slip joint. Now I like this one. I mean, one, it's a really solid blade. It takes an awful lot to shut it. 
but when it does, it's not quite in the half stop. That's it, in the half stop. One, it doesn't fire it at the half stop at a high rate. Two, it's got a big flat piece of metal here. And most importantly, it stops before the halfway. So that means that you do have some hope of keeping your finger out of the line of attack. So, half stops, good thing or a safety feature or a danger? I, I go for danger. That's my choice. That's my reading of the half stop. I mean, this knife doesn't really need a half stop. It's so... It takes so much pressure to close it. And then, when it does go, because of that same strong spring, fires in with such authority that it will take a chunk out of the hand. So, if you're going to have a half stop, have a good half stop. But honestly, I can live without it. I am more than happy to have a traditional knife with no half stop. Perfectly good for me. Okay, so there we go. Thank you very much.